Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. What's up, beautifuls? I just went ahead and did my eyebrows because they take a second and now, you know, I don't know. To even get them like this, like, <laughs> it took me a long time. So today is like, <clears throat> what? I don't know if y'all have been noticing in my past videos, but I have been monetizing them just in case I do become that girl, you know, <laughs> make a shit coin. But right now, making nothing, making brokenness, chick chain, <laughs> broke. But that is why my intro is no longer what's up. Yeah, you know, we're not gonna go over that, but it is now what's up, beautiful, is because you're all beautiful, and I don't want anybody to mix up the concept of my other intro that I used to do. So from now on, I'm just going to say what's up, beautiful, so people can just feel loved and accepted, because we're all beautiful in our own way, because look at this. Like, I go from, I don't know what I look like, but I go to this, to a gorgeous woman. So, <laughs> but all freaking tea aside, we are going to be doing the Jeffree Star lip gloss. Like, just try it on. Just, like, play with it. Just, like, lick it. Just eat it. Because, you know, why not? But, you know, <sighs> Jeffree's extra. We all know this. So, it's not lip gloss. It's the gloss. So, I'm going to be using the gloss instead of lip gloss. But I did just wet my beauty blenders, like... That just went for my pants. <sighs> okay. So instead of just sitting here and just talking to the camera and not acting like I don't need to do a whole face, let's just get into the makeup, cause, yes. So I'm just gonna start off my Huda Beauty Foundation, you know, the regular routine, still using this girl. Just grab this. Oh, and sad face, I broke my other mirror. Oh, and other sad face, I've been popping a lot of pimples. You guys, I have an obsession with popping pimples. So if you're ever looking at my face and you're like, why is it always full of acne? It's because I don't know how to not pop my pimples. So school's officially over forever. Never going back. Just totally dropped out. Even though I have one more year left, <laughs> not going back. Just like, I'm just over it. Like, oh my God. I am just not okay with everybody staring and always asking me these weird questions. And always thinking I'm like a museum. I was jumping on a trampoline, which is not a bright idea. And I forgot how to keep my balance. Like real life balance does not exist into my existence. Like I often fall like 30 times a day. I can't stand still. I trip over air. So yeah, I most definitely fell along the trampoline. Now let's just put on our concealer. Oh my god, so today I went to my cosmetology school to take some testing and to meet with my concurrent enrollment person to speak to for college. And if you don't know what concurrent enrollment means, it just means you're in high school and you're going to college while in high school credit. So, well at least that's what I think it means, but <laughs> took this test and I had to give her my phone. And I was like, oh, I don't have a phone. And she was like, <laughs> sis, because I just seen you put it in your pocket. And I was like, oh, that phone. Oh. And I was like, this is an amazing first impression. Like, I'm definitely making the best first impression. The first problem was when I got there and I walked inside and a whole bunch of security approached me. And I was like... Like, I was like, what is gonna happen? I'm getting arrested. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, I'm getting robbed. They're like, oh, where are you going? And I was like, oh my God. Like, shouldn't you just make sure I'm not stealing anything? It looks decent. Like, I don't look the best. I never look the best, actually. So I'm going in with my shade and light contour palette from Kat Von D. But just an update everybody, because we do know I don't live for the girl. I did just order my new contour and my new eyelashes. So whenever those come in... I'll be using those in my upcoming videos. So we're just gonna chill out these motherfucking cheeks. Honestly, like ever since I started to do my own makeup channel, I have ignored all the other beauty channels. Like I don't watch any other YouTubers anymore and I'm kinda thinking like that's not okay because how am I going to know if something's trending and how am I gonna be liked? Like what if one day, I'm hanging out with like Jeffree Star or something. He's like, oh, remember that one video? And I'm just like, yeah. And he's just like, oh, so what happened after that? 
I don't know. Like, I don't know. Every time I don't wear contour, I feel like my face is unfinished. Like, it's not sculpted correctly. Like, it just looks plain. So, that's why I love contouring. Because it just gives your face a little more definition. And it just adds that color that you need. Well, for me, because, you know, I'm very, very white. So, when I contour, it shows that I actually have color. But on some people, like, contouring isn't always the moves. Like, I've seen some people not contour and their makeup looks freaking fabulous. And I always wanted to murder them, but it's okay. Oh, and how does everybody like my haircut? Like... My other hair I thought was cute, that little bun, and it wasn't. Like, after I got my hair cut, I realized that was not cute. Like, that was not the moves at all. If you're a boy and you have a bun because you don't know what kind of haircut to get, get rid of the bun. You know what? Let me not speak for you because it might be cute on you. Nothing's cute on me, so let me just speak for me, I guess. Put your hands up, honey. It is so hot. I just want to get naked, like... This heat is unbearable at the moment. <sighs> All right, so now that we have finished the contour, I'm gonna just start baking my face with the Jeffree Star setting powder. I am not doing an eyeshadow look today. I was going to, but I'm just doing lip gloss, so. But honestly, if you want me to be really, 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 really real, anytime I wear lip gloss without like a lipstick or like a matte underneath it, I just can't like, I just can't like I just can't do it like I just can't do an eyeshadow look with it because I just feel like it just looks unfinished So I'm just using the Jeffree Star setting powder. I have been living for the formula Like even though he is my role model and all that this formula is amazing and it smells amazing And when it's on your skin There's no complaints and if you do think it's not a good setting powder Please comment down below so I can block you because all his products are good. Some of the colors and stuff is it favorable like and you can all agree with me and if you don't well Live in your fantasy where you lie to yourself. Sorry when I do my setting powder I have to concentrate even though it's like the least part you really have to concentrate I have to concentrate because I always be pushing down too hard or something So I just let it sit for a second and then just brush it right off so we are just going to conceal the lids real quick. The first winner of my giveaway is going to get a $50 Sephora gift card. And then the second winner is going to get one of Jeffree Star's lip glosses. To enter my giveaway, you have to subscribe to my channel. You have to like this video. You have to comment down below. And then you have to follow my Instagram and my Twitter. So once you finish all of those steps, so commenting, liking, subscribing, etc., you're going to inbox me on Instagram with a screenshot of you doing all the steps and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. So the first person that wins the giveaway is going to get a $50 Sephora gift card and the second person is going to get Jeffree Star's lip gloss of their choice. So once they win, I will text them and ask them what lip gloss they want and then I'll just purchase it for them. So simple as that. So you can just enter and you might win. Come on, get the game on. So I'm just going to put on the mascara real quick off the camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished the mascara and I think it's time to see what the lip gloss looks like. Here she is. It's really gorgeous. You can't really see in my lighting in here, but it is like a metallic look. I already unpackaged it yesterday, but I didn't test it out yet. I didn't swatch it or anything. I just looked at it, but in the light, it really does sparkle and give you like the oh ah ah sensations. Let's just see it with this beauty be packing, like kind of play with it. Oof. I felt that. You can't see it, but that's how the wand is. On most of his wands, it's like that. Let's just try a swatch, maybe. Oh, you see that? So, not really in the light you can see, but from right here, this is one of the best glosses I've seen. And it smells amazing, too. Like, he's always coming through. There's a little pink glitter in there. Sparkles, whatever you want to call them. And you can see them only in the light. And also, when the light isn't hitting it. But it's just, like, the angle you're at, you see it more. So, let's just go ahead and put it on. And then he did say it's one swatch. I can never just do one swatch, so... 
Wow. And I just want to make it clear, all my reviews, I try to make unbiased opinions already. So if they are my role model, I try not using that to give them more credit. But I don't use lip glosses that much. I'm more of a matte person. And honestly, this is one of the best lip glosses I've came across. Like, like just giving you those lips moment, you know? That is Joffrey Star lip gloss. I'm kind of living, like I'm really living for it. And like I said, I try to keep it in a biased opinion. So especially since he is my role model, I try not using that to benefit his products. And I have come to the point where I've caught him out on some products. So it's not like I'm favoring him, but this one is really good. This is a win of one of Joffrey's products. So I would definitely recommend. And I just want to talk about the packaging. He always comes through for the packaging. He really does. Like. This is a really great design and it's just so incredible how he thinks about his customers when it comes to the products. Like, I don't want some ugly lip gloss container. Pretty much like this. That is basic. How many other lip glosses are like that? It's just creative. I live for the creativeness and it's like when somebody buys something, they want it to be nice because you're buying it because of a value. So he's making sure that his packaging is also nice with his products because it is a little more higher end. So it would just be right to go in a pink, this one, yeah, this pink highlighter. Like, it just seems right and correct. So we're going to do that. <sighs> so... That was, oh my god, that was the gloss used by me. I'm not really doing a review with it just because I was mainly talking. It wasn't really focused on just the gloss. Just wanted to chat and just try on a new product that I got, which happened to be a new product that just came out. So, might as well use it. But today's just a short video once again. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up down below. Well, I mean... You kind of have to, because if you want to win that Sephora card or the lip gloss, you gotta, you gotta like the video. So, yeah. But remember, 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 if you forgot, if you want to enter my giveaway, it will start the day of this video, so Friday. I'm not so sure what day it is. Like I said, to enroll, all you have to do is comment on this video. Just like the video, press the subscribe button, and then also follow my social media link down below, and you'll be entered into the giveaway once you screenshot all the evidence to show that you actually did follow the rules, and then DM me on Instagram, and then I'll be selecting the winners from there. Thank you all for watching. I love each and every one of you happy pride month and enjoy the rest of your day bye beautifuls Mwah.